Hello everybody, happy Friday, yes! I want to hear what your lessons have been in the past few months and I want to see how maybe that informs what and where and how the rest of the live goes. I want to see what lessons you may have learned, maybe watching a Dharma video, maybe while you're back at school, maybe friendships. Ooh, that one has been uh, an interesting one I've heard from some people. Ooh, Lily coming in with one. Okay. My 2023 lesson was you can't trust just anyone, even if you think you know them. A wolf can be in a sheep's clothing. You know what's interesting about that, Lily? I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm not gonna front. I agree. You can't just trust anyone. I'm sorry, but it's true. I've learned that the hard way myself. I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I do. So I think what's interesting here is that, you know, you can't just trust anyone, and you also have to approach things without a wall which is really, really not easy to do when you've been burned, which sounds, Lily, like perhaps you were, you know, betrayed or, or you know, stabbed in the back or whatever it was, however you describe it. Sometimes you just got to be mindful of other people's intentions. And sometimes you need something from someone that they can't give you. So it's not that you can't trust them. It's that they don't deserve your trust, right? It's like, yes, I believe in being mindful that, you know, not everyone is meant to be in your life. And some people have ill intentions. And again, the tricky, tricky, tricky part is walking that fine line where you don't get guarded and build up a wall and then get jaded and defensive, right? So I've learned that sometimes what you do is you have to test who deserves your trust, who you can tell certain things to. So over my years, I've learned that you share a little something with people. It's just like, oh, I'm going shopping with my cousin who I haven't spoken to in years, this Saturday, whatever it is, right? And see if that gets out, right? So it's almost like, just like giving a little bit to see how this person responds to your life, to your story, to your, you know, to your outings, right? Because sometimes like people get jealous. And so you just kind of want to gauge where people are at when you speak to them is how I've learned to do things. Nikolai's lessons apparently are one, family is not immune to boundaries. Any family members overstep your boundaries, don't be afraid to say it. Yeah, rock on, I dig it be kind because you're still having to like either live with them or share blood with them or you know like be kind um and there's a way to be kind especially with your family if it merits right if you're past that point because they you know hit below the belt and you know i don't know i i, I don't want to think about that because that really bites but if it's a sort of thing where you could just be like civil and be like you know kind and patient and understanding that them two are going through something then you can have that talk have that conversation and i think that's the biggest thing right like having a conversation it's so huge and so important and so necessary. Ooh, CJ, let's see. The lesson I have learned is I pray a lot, not because I need something, but because I have so much to thank God for. Wow. If you've been on here since the beginning, I kind of thought like, you know, I'm not going to do the maracas. I'm not going to do a lot of, but I did bring them. And that is a maraca moment. Oh my God, CJ, that's amazing. The lesson I have learned is I pray a lot, not because I need something from God, but because I have so much to thank God for. Wow, that's a huge bravo, CJ. I'm so proud of you that you are there and that you're sharing that. And thank you for putting that in the comments. And yeah, Morocco moment for that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, Jose, I say yes to opportunities, fate, consciousness, and the universe. I love that, Jose. I love what you said, Jose. And I love that you're there. That's a very special place to be in. And it takes a while to get there, right? It takes time and energy and effort and work. And I mean effort and work in the sense that like you have to actively seek those opportunities to say yes to, right? You can't just hide out and expect things to come to you. You have to take action. You have to move forward. You have to like, you know, be curious and, and you know, sign up for something if you are home. I'm not saying you can't leave the house. I'm just saying, or that you have to leave the house rather. I'm saying that like, you know, if something intrigues you, like go research it, right? And then things can happen. So I love that you're there. And that says a lot about you and your journey, your journey and where you're at. So that makes me really, really happy to see uh, Jose. Mona, one big important lesson I've especially learned throughout 2023 is about true friendship and trusting enough to communicate no matter how uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah. And the thing is, what's really interesting with friendships, in my opinion, again, my experience is that sometimes you don't have an opportunity to communicate. 
And I don't know what that is or why that is. But sometimes life kind of just doesn't bring you back in a situation that's appropriate to have a dialogue and have a discussion. I, I found that for myself, you know, a while back where I meant to have a conversation and this person wasn't available or, you know, they were traveling and I, then I was traveling, like whatever it was. Right. And so in those moments where, you know, perhaps a conversation is delayed, right. Cause I do believe in ultimately having them, but when they are delayed, how do you sit in those moments? Right. How do you find peace with yourself when something is in the back of your mind going, oh, so-and-so, 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 right? Because it, it tugs. It tugs on our heartstrings. It tugs on our on our ease throughout the day. It just does because a friend, if they've reached a certain level of friendship, is very near and dear to you, right? And they are like your ride or die for however you know season they're in your life for. And that's who you turn to. And that's how you who you go to. And that's who you want in your life. And that's who you share things, you know, moments and memories with. And then all of a sudden, when that is tarnished, right? Whether it was a trust, a betrayal, a lack of communication, there's so many different reasons and circumstances around why a friendship can kind of, you know, start to dismantle. But what I find is that how you wait in those moments makes a big difference, right? So for instance, you can wait like so-and-so was so obnoxious they threw me under the bus and they made me look foolish in front of so many people. I don't like this person. I never want to speak to them. That's one way you can, you know, react, which is legitimate, right? And then there's this other, perhaps gentler with yourself, is to perhaps be like, okay, this happened. Not fun, not cool. It actually quite sucks. And you know what? I could see how it needed to happen. I could see why so-and-so behaved in that way because I needed to see that. I needed to have this lesson. So what can I take away from it? I'm going to take away that fill in the blank for you. So you see how you can have different responses to the same situation. You might have to go over the mm, angry part because that's part of the grieving process. And, you know, I think we talked about this, you know, last year a little bit that, you know, when you lose a friendship, you have to grieve that friendship or even a relationship, whether it's a male, female, whatever, you grieve it. You grieve what is no longer going to be, right? So if this person, friend or not, is no longer in your life, it's almost like you have to have that gentle ride of grief with yourself. And I say gentle in the sense that you have to be gentle with yourself. You have to give yourself grace, right? So, you know, it's it's very legitimate that this is happening now because it's better now than later, right? And me, I rather see someone's true colors earlier than see their true colors when, you know, years have gone by or decades have gone by and you're like, wow, right? That stings a whole lot more. So that's perhaps maybe <laughs> some insight as to how I choose to respond to those situations that are out of my control and that really suck. It's like, oh, this is happening for me. It's happening so that I can learn something I need to learn and I need to learn this now so that I can get to the next whatever's coming my way. And I'd rather approach it that way than the alternative. So food for thought. Maybe that helps. Lily says, I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> I, I laugh because I couldn't pronounce it. Not that I'm laughing at you being dyslexic. It's just, I can't say certain words and apparently I'm having difficulty with that word right now. So that's why I chuckled just to be clear. You know what? Rock on. If you're dyslexic and you have trouble spelling and yet you're typing in the comments, rock on to you, more power to you. I give you infinitely more power because you're still typing and writing and putting in regardless of your spelling, okay? So rock on, that's all I'm gonna say, Lily. You and your beautiful dyslexic self, so what if you misspell something? Like, that's a bit of a challenge for you. We all have challenges. So own it, love it, and roll with it, right? You misspell something, that's what auto-check, auto-correct, auto-spelling, whatever that is, is for. So don't feel guilty or ashamed or afraid to ever type anything because if anything it's more power to you you're still doing it despite some people might use that as a crutch they might use that as an excuse as to why they don't write you're not doing that so rock on you okay that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say like bravo to you bravo lily i learned the trust issue the hard way multiple times yes yeah, sarah me too it bites it bites and perhaps that's why I think the more it happens, the more you're like, okay, this needed to happen. Let's move it along to see what the next lesson is, to see what the next adventure is, to see what the next, you know, chapter is. And that's how I prefer to approach things now. Again, the hard way. I learned it the hard way. I wasn't always like this. I used to be like, a, mm, and everybody knew because I'd be all angry chick on up on people. Ooh, see you with another lesson. I learned in 2023 is to always believe in yourself. Yes, no matter what. Don't let others put you down and always stay focused. Very important. 
Bravo, CJ. Yes. I love that. I love that. Just believe in yourself. What else can you say about that, right? I've learned how to protect myself from narcissists. All right, Mona. Yikes. I'm sorry that you had to learn that, but cool that you did, right? Part of your journey. And that's what I love so much about your journey, meaning your journey, the, the you know, why I call this your journey, this channel, because it's, it's what you are here on this earth to learn. And the quicker you learn these lessons, the quicker you go through them, the quicker you respond to them in a more favorable way, the quicker you move on, the quicker you graduate. And that to me is so exciting. It's like, okay, done. Let's go to the next thing, right? That's how I want to progress through life. And that's, you know, the whole reason why we do these lessons, because if I learn something along the way, I want to share it. Not so you do it like me, but so that you have an example of how somebody else dealt with it, right? You do you, you are going to do you, but sometimes it's nice to be like, oh, Yo, you know, <laughs> That looked like I was cheating on someone else's paper, but all I meant was, <laughs> you know, brainstorm, right? Study together before a test, right? So hopefully I didn't look like I was cheating on someone else's paper. That's not what I meant, but that's what I, the energy I felt like I was giving off. <laughs> oh, that leads to the lesson. The biggest lesson of 2023 for me is that it is all going to be just fine in the end. If it is not fine, it is not the end. Wow. I agree. I agree. It's so true. Everything will be fine. Everything will work out. Everything will be, you know, as it's needed to be, again, for our own progression and our own journey. And so um, I dig it. I dig that because, you know, we got to remind ourselves it's going to be okay. You know, I think I answered that to somebody. Somebody asked me how I was doing. I'm like, I'll be okay. You know, I'm just going through some stuff. And that is okay, right? We can't judge ourselves because we may be struggling or challenged or, you know, hitting a wall. Like, it's okay. This is part of it, right? And the more you go through these situations in life and the more the outcome is one of ease and, and just peace through whatever given situation it is, the easier it gets. And that is such a huge component of how you experience life. You experience an easier life when you don't white knuckle through it, right? Like full circle. When you resist the wave, the wave hits and hurts more. Oh, I like that. When you resist the wave, the wave hits and hurts more. I like it. Oh, Turbo! Yay! Why are people saying hi? I've never gotten attention before. Sorry, I didn't mean to like <laughs> put you on blast there, but I love that. I'll tell you why because it's when we feel that we're seen is when we can do like amazing things. That's when the magic happens. When you feel seen, when you feel like someone cares about you, when you've just met them a couple of minutes ago and they're just happy that you're here, that's so cool. And that's what we wanna have in this little fry fam bubble, yay. And I say all these little different things because over the years, <laughs> now it's gonna be like a string of different words, right? So over the years, a lot of us have been here together doing these lives over the last three-ish, over three years. And so we've become a little bit of a family. And so that's why I call y'all fry fam, because. It's Friday and the fam gets together on Fridays. And so um, it's this little bubble. And I always want whoever is new to feel welcomed because how many times you show up somewhere and you're like, everybody knows each other. I don't know anybody. I feel alone. I'm just going to hide. I'm just going to like not be here. I hope no one sees me because no one knows me. No, not in here. In here, we want you to feel seen, welcomed, acknowledged, and that you have a voice because each and every single one of you have a powerful voice. And if you don't feel that from day to day, my wish and desire is to help make you feel that way, right? So that's why people are saying hello, Durbo. And that was really cool that you put that in the comments. I love it. Molly, I've learned how to build on my confidence. What I got taught personally is that if I find things I enjoy to slowly build steps to build my confidence. Yeah, you get more confident when you do the things you are good at, right? So, so I've been listening to this a lot, actually, Molly. Um, there's this Dean Graziosi, right? Dean Graziosi is this amazing like self-help guru that I love and follow. And he's followed by millions, of course. And he says, like, the most ridiculous thing that we are led to believe in society is that we have to work on our weaknesses. Why? If we are strong at something, let's become even more strong at what we're great at, right? That's how the incredible athletes, you know, come to be. That's how the incredible, you know, teachers and scientists and firemen, whatever it is, right? Astronauts, that's how they get infinitely better because they focus on the thing that they're already great at, right? So like, okay, imagine Michael Jordan, right? Although he did play baseball. But the point is, he focused on basketball. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, you know, Toby Bryant. Like, they focus on what they loved and what they were great at. Imagine if you put them on a soccer field. Like, what? 
that's not what they love, right? So they develop their strength of playing the game of basketball specifically because that's what they loved and were good at. So I love that you're saying that, Molly. It's like, do what you enjoy, enjoy what you do, get more confident in that. And then if you've seen my other video, right, about how to increase your confidence, already have something you're good at and borrow confidence from that thing that you're already like really good at so that you can learn something else, right? So whether it's learning a language and you already speak Spanish, let's say, I'm okay at speaking Spanish fluently, right? Not great at speaking German, but if I want to learn German, I can borrow the fact that I speak a second language and put my effort and energy into learning a new language. Danke. That's where you joy, right? That means thank you, right? So yeah, it's like focus on what you're good at and don't think you need to be good at everything because you're not going to be. <laughs> you're meant to be on this earth to share the gift that you were given. You're not expected to have a thousand gifts and and share all thousand gifts because then you water down all thousand gifts start to find what you really enjoy what you're good and great and awesome at and progress in that way right so i love that molly <laughs> so i'm glad you're building your confidence and you do amazing edits so let's just recognize that that you're hugely creative and i love that and you're so generous with your edits so thank you thank you for making us feel so good when you create things for us so yeah. Oh, Mona, yes. I've had past trust issues, mm -hmm. but I also have followed my heart and who to trust. It's been a blessing. It is. It's really cool when you have had past lessons that you can defer to and be like, oh, when I did this, it worked. When I did that, it didn't work so well, right? And that comes with experience, right? So we're not expecting you to know exactly how to respond to every given situation you find yourself in. Uh, negative, that will never happen because so many things we, you know, we discover for the first time, right? So like, um, you know, having had the lesson and understanding how you want to respond to someone because you learned it previously, that's a huge blessing. That's incredible. And so I love it. Thank you, Mona. Mm, Nicola. Uh huh. I also learned that not everyone can stay in your life forever. What did I say? Everyone is in your life for a season. We don't know how many months or years that season is, but you know, not everyone is, is meant to be in your life forever. Yeah, Nicola, I agree wholeheartedly. Don't set high expectations for people because things can change for them and it's hard. True. True and true, true and true. Hi, Sarah, baby doll. I learned to always spend time with your family. Oh my gosh, talk about nail on the head. Because you never know when something might happen that changes everything. Okay, Sarah, yeah, I second, third, fifth, quadruple that statement. I always spend time with your family no matter what. It was so good to be with my family. The last few weeks I was in Florida for almost two weeks after I picked up my sister's ashes. I wanted to post a photo of me holding my sister's ashes and Oscar was like, don't do that. I'm like, why? I want to put a photo of me because I was holding my sister like this. Um, and he's like, no, that's disrespectful. I'm like, but I love her. <laughs> so I ended up not posting the photo. He's like, ask your mom if it's okay that you do. And I still haven't asked my mom, but I really do want to ask my mom. I keep forgetting. Um, but I just love, I was like holding her like this, you know, through the airport. <laughs> It was really odd. It was really odd. But it was beautiful at the same time. And so, yeah, being with family rocks. Nicola, if a friend doesn't give you much attention like before, don't force yourself to put effort when the connection isn't mutual. Right down the line, you said it, Nicola. And at the same time, we can be respectful about it, right? Just because they're feeling a certain way doesn't mean that we, you know, subject ourselves to lessening our power in, in the world because somebody else is showing a different face, right? You're still a powerful being, even though someone perhaps doesn't want to hang out with you anymore. Just because someone has a different opinion about you doesn't mean that you are anything less than what you were when they did like you. Jose says, another lesson, love myself for who I am and what I like. 2023 was a year I made a group of friends who accepted me for who I am and I owe it all to them. How about you owe it all to yourself, right? Because you did the work. You did the work to find a group of people who you resonated with and that they like you because if you were not likable, they wouldn't like you, right? So you've done the work. So how about you? You owe it to yourself, right? And I only say that because, because, because it is so important to give ourselves credit. Give yourself props, right? Pat yourself on the back because you have worked hard to be where you're at, that you found people that you resonate with and that have common interests, right? You had to go looking for it and it had to find you. If you wouldn't have done what you have done, Jose, you wouldn't have found what you have found, right? So so I want you to give them credit, sure, but give yourself credit too, right? In this world where sometimes we feel like everything is, how about for you too, okay? 
That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. And I hope it's okay I say that. <laughs> I am going to end it. Hold on, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. With a little bit of singing bowl, just to ground us into the weekend, if that's okay. So I'm just going to take a moment to offer us a little bit of ease into the weekend, yay. Um, so I love you all tremendously. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. Thank you for bringing me so much joy today, every day, but today especially. So let's just roll with a little... Big love. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Yay. Bye, everybody. I miss you already. Bye. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So keep watching.